Colleagues, good afternoon. My name is Chetinsky Roman. Thank you so much for this opportunity to speak in front of you. I'd like to thank the organizers because every year the conference is uh, at to the world level every year we see each other and this is a very good opportunity to discuss certain issues. So I'd like to discuss with you a unique situation which we see in the Russian market in the area of mining gold. How we should take advantage of that not to lose this opportunity. The gold prices today is uh, 2800 rubles per gram unfortunately. All the advantages of that might be reaped only by those who are mining gold. The question is whether the situation will last for quite a while and what the price we may see in the midterm range. I think that uh, this uh, question should be reinterpreted and we have to ask it a different way. What are the chances that uh, the uh, dollar would depreciate uh, uh, to 65 rubles per dollar. If these chances are quite low, you can be absolutely uh, comfortable for several years. We certainly understand that if the dollar denominated prices uh, for gold go up and the statistics from the banks say that uh, soon we may achieve the price of $1,300 per ounce. So it means that the gold mining companies will reap most of the benefits, especially uh, the ones which are developing certain pilot projects. Now, they would benefit from that, meaning that the investments would pay back much faster, more quickly. Uh, there are certain pessimists uh, who are not so optimistic about that and uh, uh, certain heads of the companies they are afraid of uh, um, giving us true figures about their balance sheets. In that sense we're speaking about absolutely different figures. If we're speaking about the rise in the costs, for instance if we take my company GV Gold Visochaishi. Over the last two years, starting from the end of 2014, the average uh, gold price increased 65%, whereas the prime cost in the company increased only 20%. And within those 20%, let me stress once again, there is a rise. Um, in the cost in terms of the MET. So it means that uh, we see certain rise in the ruble denominated costs. This certainly should result in uh, optimizing the costs. But we have always to optimization without waiting for the crisis to hit us. We have to introduce certain procedures within the company and colleagues uh, specify that very well to manage our costs uh, in real time and if necessary we may take timely management decisions золотодувающие получает больше чем рассчитывали в рублях конечно если вам необходимо купить западную технику например большегрузный самосвал вы вряд ли почувствуете изменения от девальвации. Но вот интересный момент, кстати, я обнаружил недавно для себя. Всегда думал, что БелАЗы они дешевле, чем вся западная техника. Но если мы говорим о мощных самосвалах, там 90 тоннах, оказалось, что вот на недавнем тендере, который мы проводили, что 90 тонны БелАЗ стоит в долларах даже дороже, чем аналогичный самосвал Камацу или Хитачи.